hello friends welcome to my channel in this class i'm going to show you how to create a window curtains so without any delay let's get started so let's first take a plane go to create here and go to polygon primitives choose polygon plane and scale it let's give a bigger scale here let's give 20 you can give any bigger scale but make sure you are scaling it don't do a very small piece because um, my dynamics totally depends on the scale scale of your object so it makes you it's, it's a big object so let's rotate it 90 degree rotate here just put minus 90 let's say and let's say the grid is our floor so let's take it to the up up to the grid okay then the second thing is go to polygon primitives input here and let's give some white let's give 1.5 or 2 maybe so the main point is if you want a cottons like uh, cottons of this this kind of proportion which has a lot of wrinkles you should make the cottons wider then you are going to scale it like this so just think about a real curtain and which is actually white but when you when you compress it you will get folds so just make sure you start creating a white curtains okay then let's give some divisions here this is the second most important thing because when you are going to make it a cut cloth you need a lot of points to get those wrinkles so let's give some good amount of divisions here let's let's add maybe 50 50 as you can see i got some problem here so let's undo it let's don't scale it okay 50 50 when you manually scale something and then you are changing the divisions here subdivisions sometimes you get those kind of errors so i will recommend to use this instead of using your scale tool to pro change your proportion so okay i'm ready to go here let's say you can see these are rectangular kind of face that means i have to put some more divisions here let's say 70 maybe this is not an important thing but it's a better it's better to have a square means proper uh, proportionally polygon distribution so once i do this then let's go to just set effects here so that you will get effects menu then go to end cloth and choose create end cloth okay then if you play here let's put some frames here so let's play here now you should see your cloth falling that means it's converted to in cloth and now I want to hold it let's create another polygon cube which which will be our holding object so let's go to where is polygon cube select it position it on top of the cloth scale this piece scale approximately to the width of the cloth it it doesn't have to be perfect it can be a little wider than the cloth like this then let's go to the cloth components vertex components mode and choose all your top vertexes okay i want all these vertices to connect it with this cube so just select the vertices then shift select the cube then go to end constraint menu and use point to surface so what it gonna do it's gonna connect all those points to the cube okay so if now i play it it's gonna hang that means it's it's not gonna let it to fall down so then go to go to field and solver play from here there is an interactive playback option here don't play from here the the simple difference is when i play from here i can also move around my in my scene that means while while it's playing i can scale this object to get the wrinkles 
so if i play from here i will not get the scale tool to scale it while it's playing you can see here don't play from here go to fields and solvers interactive playback now it's an interactive playback i can scale it slowly start to scale it slowly and you should see wrinkles okay because the cloth is attached to this object the all the vortices are attached to that object so scale it slowly slowly to your desired proportion of the cloth the more you scale the more wrinkles you are going to get so once you like it just stop it and this is your cotton so once you have done it just select it Control d duplicate move it this is your dynamic cloth this is your model so if you want to change it you can change it again to a different piece of cloth like if i again go to interactive play and you can see it's still changing i can scale it and i can do one more thing okay let's say this is your cloth if you want to make it collide with the floor so i can take another plane go to create polygon primitives plane make it a ground plane scale it so that it can securely safely collide with that then make this cloth select this cloth then select this subject and go to in cloth create passive collider so this object should be your passive collider object now if i play and um, let's move it while it's playing don't stop the playing it's playing and i'm slowly moving it so that my cloth will touch and rest on the ground plane you can see okay you can just play a little bit more and when you like it you can just stop okay stop and let's play a little bit more let's make it rest a little bit more great so then select it duplicate it now it's your object which is not animatable this is your dynamic cloth select everything delete it you don't need all those things so this is our curtains then you can obviously go and select the model the bar and rings to hold hold those things then let, let me quickly tell you how to texture this very very easy just if you check the evs go to modeling and go to ev menu and go to ev editor you will find the ev is there right you don't have to do anything so let's just go and select our texture go to fabric material let's go lambert give any material here i'm giving lambert because cloth doesn't have any shininess most of the time simple cotton cloth let's go to color and choose file go to open or up folder there then let's see if i have some textures class materials if i go to texturing let's go to clothing i should have some so let's use this okay i bring that it's a seamless texture i believe it's a you can find this texture in on google so let's press six to see the texture okay then if you want smaller texture or repeat a repeat of this texture go to place 2d here and repeat it from here repeat just increase this value to 2 2 maybe and okay you can see let's say maybe 4 4 just experiment a bit i believe i like that one one maybe. okay this is your window cotton cloth very quick to do by using maya and cloth techniques so guys if you like this tutorial and you want to see this kind of tutorials or if you have any questions you can put those in comments and i'll try to make a video on those questions friend if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel and bye bye